You ever wonder what your Patronus would be? Let's give it a shot. Expecto Patronus. What the? The Honey Badger. This little beast has made the Guinness Book of Records as the most fearless little animal in the world. Definitely not what I was expecting. Well, hello there. My name is Kareem El Sayed. I'm the founder and host of this Trailblazer Uprising show, your favorite place to unlock the lessons of nerd culture to power up your life and, yes, also your impact on the world. And this is episode number 14. Okay, so today's clip is one of my favorite characters in all of Potterdom, and I'm not going to spoil it, so check it out. What is it? It's what? That. Pulling the carriage. Nothing's pulling the carriage, Harry. It's pulling itself, like always. You're not going mad. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Everyone, this is Looney Love. Luna Lovegood. Yep, you guessed it. Good old Looney Lovegood. One of the reasons why I love the character of Luna so much is that people are always teasing her about how strange she is, but it just never seems to bother her. When she first appears in Order of the Phoenix, she's already a bit of a weirdo because only she could see the Thestrals and no one else can, except for Harry. And the rest of her behavior isn't exactly helping the situation either, what with the weird necklaces and not wearing shoes, but her and her father both believed Harry that you-know-who had returned. So, yeah, she was strange, but she was a very important and dedicated member of Dumbledore's army. And, in fact, it was her idea at the end of Order of the Phoenix to take the Thestrals back to the Ministry of Magic so that they could try to rescue Sirius. And she participated in that battle, and she participated in the battle at the Astronomy Tower, as well as the Battle of Hogwarts. So, in a way, it was her weirdness that was her biggest asset. And that's today's lesson. You might feel like a strange person. I mean, you're trying to change your life. You're trying to have an impact on the world. And the people who are around you are probably weirded out by that. But I'm here to tell you that that is okay. So embrace your strangeness. I mean, look at me. I'm doing a show on YouTube about two of the strangest topics ever, personal growth and development, and nerdy stuff combined. Do you think that stops me? No, it actually makes it even more fun. So when somebody teases you or criticizes you about caring too much or working too hard on your side hustle or whatever, I want you to lean into it even further and let that person know that Luna Lovegood proves that it's okay to be a weirdo and blessed are the strangers. And that brings us to tweet time. Embrace your weirdness, for in it you will find your unique strengths and a path to victory. And don't worry, there'll be plenty more Potter-themed episodes for you Potterheads out there in the future. Now, I want to hear from you. What makes you weird? Let me know in the comments below, or better yet, back on this post at trailblazeruprising.com. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked the episode. If so, please like and subscribe. And do me a favor and be the weirdo who shares this episode with all their friends. I really appreciate it. And for more advanced training and inspirations that I only share with my subscribers, head on back to trailblazeruprising.com and sign up for my newsletter. 
And as always, friends, never forget, don't ask for permission. Make every moment of your life meaningful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Trailblazer Uprising Show. I need a wand. I need a real wand. All right, let's try that again. Uh, final stretch. Mm.